Hi, we're Steve. And Annette. The economy is from Money Smart Family. Inflation is terrible. Prices are going up like crazy. It's getting tougher and tougher to live. But there's one thing that price has never changed on and never will. Free stuff. Today, we're really excited about showing you so many different sources where you can find free stuff from literally furnishing an entire home to meeting the needs you might have for that moment. Food, clothes. Oh gosh. Construction material. Yes, tools. There's free stuff out there, so keep watching. Money Smart Family. We're gonna start with something really easy. Just walk outside your front door. Outside your front door? Absolutely. Where we live, there's something called bulk trash pickup four times a year. And there's people that just don't even want to drive up to the corner less than a mile and drop off things to donate it. They'll just put it in their trash pile. Around the corner, let me show you a picture. There was this junk pile. The guy sold his house. The, the new owner came in and threw out all the stuff this guy left behind. There was food. There were spices. There were construction material, pool parts. It was out there. And within a week, that pile was gone. Besides your neighbors moving, you can also help your friends. Like if your friends are cleaning out parents' houses or grandparents' houses, you can offer to go help them either do a garage sale or pack up what's left. And we've gotten some really neat stuff that we can flip that way or that we can re-gift that way. Mm -hmm. um, we've gotten queen size bed, a fiberglass ladder, yep. easy ups. When people are moving and they're overwhelmed with the stuff. If you can come in with a trailer and just haul stuff away, they want it to go to Goodwill or they'll, they'll give it to you. They don't care. <clears throat> but it's a great way to right. get lots of free stuff. Oh, I got beautiful bed linens. It's our nautical blue room mm -hmm. and it's all uh, seashells and just beautiful, beautiful stuff. You can also help people actually pack up to move. We're at the age now where a lot of our friends are downsizing and so they need help either with the garage sale or just getting moved to the new place and then they really don't care what's left behind and sometimes they'll say take it. That's another way you can acquire stuff that you either need or can give away or can flip or whatever. We're going to go into some of the apps. We found amazing things for free online in our local area that we've gone and picked up. Hey, we've got a lot more to share, but we want to just pause for a second. If you're getting something valuable out of this video, make sure that you like it by hitting the little button down there. Or subscribe because we have a lot more videos and we're going to try to create more to really encourage you. And we love chatting with you. So please feel free, ask questions, anything you want to share in the comments, we will be there to respond. All right, so let's get back to more free stuff. All right, what we're going to do is talk about um, some of the apps and websites where you can search out free items. So I'll start with Craigslist. Mm -hmm. It's 74,000 people search every month for Craigslist free stuff. It is the most popular search of free things uh, in, in the U.S. Wow. So Craigslist is a great place. We haven't gotten a lot of free things off of there, but we have sold things there and we have bought things there. And Craigslist is not only an app, which is new, but it's a website. And it's on Facebook Marketplace. Also, there are Craigslist groups there mm -hmm. that you can sell to. So let's jump into the website. You can do this on your phone too. We're gonna to show you how easy it is to find free stuff. Make sure you're in your local area. So this is our Phoenix, Arizona Craigslist. And right down here, you see the for sale section and it's alphabetical. If you go down far enough, you'll find free right here. And that's what we wanna click on. Click on free and look what you find. A washing machine, a door, um, a 45 pound dumbbell. Dumbbells are selling for about $2 a pound now. That's a great deal. Free. Even the kitchen sink, a couch, you name it, it's here. A coffee table, water dispenser, bicycle. Do you see how easy it is? But wait, there's more. There are other ways to find different types of free things. So let's do, let's put in a search term called, um, let's try curb alerts. Curb alerts is one of the words that you can use to hunt for free items. So I just put in curb alerts. Got 32 results. And here's one, curb alert teacher declutter. Look at this. So this is a teacher getting rid of all kinds of kindergarten books. Looks right. like some... Craft supplies. Yeah, uh, pet's pride. Right. All kinds of things. 
and she gives her address and just says, come by and pick it up. And Craigslist is really good because it has a map. Right. The hard thing, though, about curb alerts is anybody can go get them. So if it's far from your house, the chance of you being the first one there is pretty slim. If it's within a five-mile radius of your house and you could tell that it just got listed, you're going to stand a better chance. Okay, so that's okay. Craigslist. Let's look, at, let's look at another search term. We're going to do this with each one. Um, let's look for free. Free stuff. Now that came up with 1,338 items that were free. Now, a lot of times, businesses are putting ads up that says free, but they're really selling their services and they're renting things. So these bikes are probably rentals. But a twin mattress for free in New River. Trusses, they say they're free, but not necessarily. So you have to go in and check this. This is probably real. This fountain here, this is probably really free. Fountain was in backyard when I purchased the property. I'm not sure if it works. So you can see right. how many things there are. There's uh, wood and, and workout equipment, paint, uh, dishwashers, uh, ladders, shelving, wood, building supply, free dirt. Okay. okay. That, so use your creativity to search. The next platform we want to talk about is Facebook Marketplace. And again, you could do a search for free stuff. We've been able to find bricks, rocks, and dirt. There's, we have a lot of construction around our valley. And so there's construction companies, rather than having to haul dirt away, they'll just leave a pile out front and tell people to come get the free dirt. Mm -hmm. So here's, here's an example. I just typed in free and free purse, free ceiling fans, free river rock. Free haircut. Who knows that that's really true? No. Free sofa. All this stuff for free. Now, not all of it. Sometimes it's a free haircut, maybe. So, search for free stuff on Facebook Marketplace. And all the Swip Swap groups. Yes. Those are great to be part of as well. Okay, the next platform that we love, I mean, this is probably our favorite, is OfferUp. And again, you can search free stuff there. We sell a lot of stuff on OfferUp. I like the friendliness of its message portal. So on OfferUp, you find something you love, and then you set up a time and a place to pick it up. And just make sure you have a big enough vehicle. Remember, Home Depot rents trucks by the hour. We're going to take a look at some of the free stuff on OfferUp. So I typed in free here, and this is just amazing. Asphalt milling. If you need to fill an area, if you got a big trench or something, or you want some drainage, that might work. Kids' clothes, always. <clears throat> you can find kids' clothes and shoes. Tennis balls, free tennis balls. Moving boxes. <clears throat> we were able to find some for a friend of ours that was moving. They were just up the street, and we were able to grab a whole bunch of them. I just recently was heading out one morning to the west side, and I just checked this app we're going to go into. We're not going to tell you what not it is right, right now. now. But there was some person that posted... Uh, free canned goods. They were a few of them were expired, but most of them were not. And I I drove by. I picked them up. For some reason, I I was I I just was in luck that morning because I found that post about 15 minutes after she posted it, and I headed straight there. And um, this is, I, and this is what we got. Look at we this ended stuff. up getting 60 cans of of products, and I shared them with. Our two daughters, they were thrilled to get these canned goods. Because in these inflationary times, when you can get stuff for free and stuff that stores well, if we ever have any type of crisis or you live in an area where there's hurricanes or whatever, this is a great way to stock up and not spend a lot of money. One other aspect of OfferUp that we didn't tell you about, and this is something we really like, is that they have their own messaging portal, so you can communicate with people through there. You don't ever give out your phone number or your address, but they have notifications, and you can set notifications. So right now, two hours ago, we received a notification for 30 new items that were listed as free. Some days, and that's a light day, some days we get hundreds of notifications mm -hmm. of people setting out free stuff. A free canopy cover, uh, camping chairs, an electric range, free fill dirt. And these are all free items. The alert comes to your phone. I check the phone several times a day, and sometimes we go pick the things up. Set alerts for it, use the app, or use the website. All right, now we're just going to jump into three more apps. It's kind of the same type of search, but there's three other platforms that we use to find free stuff. Right. 
The first one is next door and we were working on a yard project one time and needed extra pavers. We put up a post on next door saying, does anybody have any pavers that they don't want anymore? You post what you need, it's in your area, so it's limited to a very small area, so you don't have to drive very far. And in Phoenix, where we live, you cannot dispose of cement, pavers, uh, bricks, bricks. In, in the bulk trash. So you have to get somebody to come take them. We, we've gotten free flagstone. Right. We've gotten free cement pavers that are 16 by 8. Um, we've gotten bricks, all right. kinds of free stuff. But the next door is a great, great one. Okay, okay then there's another one called Free Cycle. And that has had a resurgence. It was real big years ago, and then it kind of died out. And now it's, I recommend sign, signing up for that one. And then there's um, Trash Nothing. And it's, you put it, it's, it would be like Trash Nothing Phoenix, Trash Nothing Scottsdale. You put in your city and it gives you the, the things that people are putting on there that they just, they don't want anymore and they're willing to give it away. It's not a sell thing, it's a giveaway thing. And then there's, there's a couple of odd duck kind of free things like the little free garden stands. This is a new movement all around America. And basically, you look that up. It is a Facebook thing. So you look it up on Facebook, and you join the group, and then, you know, the group will have a list of the garden stands all around your city, and you pick the ones that are closest to you. Um, so when I trim trees, sometimes if I'm trimming our mulberry or our fig or our pomegranate, I'll bring cuttings to the little free garden stands, and you can get seeds like crazy crazy everybody should be growing something when you when you have cuttings what you do is you post in that group right that you're leaving those at right. certain stands yes so that people can go pick them up yes absolutely you've gotten eggs you've right. gotten plant cuttings you've gotten seeds oh i've gotten so many things from the little free garden stands okay. it's amazing okay then there's something called little free libraries and again these are all around your city i don't know if that is strictly through facebook i think it kind of is but you're supposed to uh, go pick a book and leave a book. They're all over, all over the city where you live, and they're free. Just help out by, by stocking it with books. Okay, now we're gonna talk about our favorite app. So hold on to your hats. You're, this app is amazing, and it's called Free Stuff Alerts. Get it at Google Play or in the App Store. And, you know, the cool thing is, since it's an app, you don't even have to register your email with it. It's really wild. The drawback is that it's not a website. It is on Facebook. It has a Facebook page. But if you can only download one app to your phone, this would be the app and to download. why is that? The, why is it? Because this app will search Facebook Marketplace, Nextdoor. You're kidding. Offer up. No. And they just added Trash Nothing. What? So it will search all of those. And we have found amazing stuff. Like I've shared earlier, from firewood to card to moving boxes to food. Um, one night I was running out the door to something and I just checked um, Freebie Alert. And there was someone cleaning out their freezer. And they had food like less than a mile from our house. And so and she texted me. So I messaged Steve and I'm like, hey... Do you have time? I, I was on my way to this event and I said, uh, just connect with them and see if you can meet up and get the food. And he did. They met me in the Red Robin parking lot and we made the exchange. Took no more than about 30 seconds. And they handed me the frozen stuff. They drove off. I drove off. And I came home and put it in the freezer. So here's how it looks. Free stuff alerts right there. And it has, we've already put in our zip code, and that's all you have to put in is your zip code. You don't have to put an email address or anything in there. And look at this, free legal size boxes, memory foam topper, free couch. Look at this from what, offer up. So this app pulls in offer up, and it tells you about the free TV stand. It tells you how many pictures they have. If you scroll down here, get it now on offer up, and it will take you right to offer up. But the nice thing about this app is it gives you alerts. So every day we're getting alerts and we just scroll through the alerts and if there's something we're interested in, like the food that Annette picked up because uh, she got the alert 15 minutes after um, it was the posted. person posted it, it's phenomenal. So this is the app 
of all apps for free stuff. Just because it searches four different platforms. And, and I usually set the parameters to be within five to ten miles because I know if it just pops up, it's got to be very close for me to be able to go get it. Now these are these are some odd things, and we just we didn't know how to categorize these. Dumpster diving has gotten a bad rap, but there are some people that really do love it, and they know where to go, and they can find the good stuff. But what dumpster diving is is going behind businesses uh, where they will throw things away that are usually in pretty good shape. Now here's here's a picture of of an item we picked up out of a dumpster when they were tearing down a mall near our house. Actually, my my office for the SEO company I work in was in the mall, so we had to move out. And as we were getting ready to move out, I'd go around and check the dumpster. We picked up cleaning supplies, and then we found this. It's a, a piece from, not even from Ikea, it's better than Ikea quality, but it's a cubbyhole uh, storage unit. And I, <laughs> it was heavy. I pulled it out of the dumpster, and we loaded it into our van and brought it home. Okay, I'm going to talk about Goodwill for, for just a minute. Or any, any, or thrift, any store. thrift store, really. Um, one time I went around back to, per to pick up something that was big and I bought it in the store. It was a bookshelf and there was this guy with, gosh, a whole car and a trailer full of stuff. And he's like, I'm donating all of this. So if you see anything you like, make sure you grab it. <laughs> and I found a couple of things that I could use. So I grabbed it and it was free. So he, he was having a garage sale. He was done with the garage sale. He was donating his stuff and he gave it to us. Right. We have many friends that are so there are people that own storage unit companies with many many storage units and i saw on offer up that one guy who probably was an owner he looked like he was an older gentleman said here's some storage units up for grabs the catch is you have to come and take everything right. so the danger in that is that you have to have time to process it immediately otherwise it's just adding clutter to your house Okay, let, let me show you what it looks like. So let's go to offer up. So I'll just show you how easy it is to find storage units for free. Just type in storage units, put a zero price in there, and you come up with 6, 12, 18, 19 results. Look at this one. Storage unit needs thinning. And they've got pictures of the stuff they want to get rid of. And then let's go back here and look at this one here. Everything must go. This person is moving. And so they've got stuff. Chairs, chair legs, table, a little stand. You can find all kinds of stuff for free if you just search for storage units and you have the time you and you the vehicles storage to go wars. pick them up. You've watched these people bidding on storage units. Well, we've seen them for free. The only other thing I wanted to add was... If you go at the end of a garage sale or you go at the end of an estate sale, oftentimes people are willing to bargain a whole lot more at that time. So we're talking Saturday at 11 or, or Sunday at 12. You know, usually by then you could do fill a bag for X amount of dollars. We were, um, we were at an estate sale around the corner from our house. It was three sisters selling their mom's stuff. Annette had walked by the house many times. And the mom was so crafty and so into holiday decor every single holiday the house was decorated beautifully so we bought some things but by the time we talked to them they were saying here take this take this take this. and we ended up with lots two of bins two big bins two of bins. stuff yeah. and what was great is i have a daughter and son-in-law who are really into patriotic uncle sam type stuff and so they got like my son-in-law got a light up lamp that was a bald eagle uh, for Christmas. He went nuts over that. Wait, one more thing. Another way to get free stuff is to buy stuff. Oh yeah. So last year, a friend of ours contacted me through Facebook saying that uh, his father-in-law uh, needed to move out of his two-bedroom apartment up in Las Vegas and he had two one-car garages full of woodworking equipment and they had two weeks to get him out of there and they wanted to sell all of his woodworking equipment to one person. Within the next four weeks. Annette and I put our heads together and decided what our budget was. We made an offer, he accepted it. There was so much stuff. We rented a, it was a 16 foot rider truck, drove it back to Phoenix full. I mean, front to back, top to bottom, full of woodworking equipment. Uh, I have since sold 
duplicates of stuff that I had. I sold things that he had uh, multiples of. I also sold things that he had that I didn't need. And since that time, it's taken about a year, I've sold more stuff and earned more money than what I paid for things. So basically my workshop, which is still full of equipment, was free. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, leave a comment, follow us, subscribe. Check out our website, moneysmartfamily.com. We have tons and tons of money saving tips there. And watch these videos next. next.